What's up guys? So we're finally getting a chance to work on the Miata. The coilovers came in, the cage came in. So we're gonna put the coils on, we're gonna mock up the cage. Uh, we're gonna show it to you in a minute, but we're gonna box the coils first. So, Alejandro, you wanna come on, oh, come on bro. Yeah, designated unboxer. So we got the BC, that's right. So we got the BCBRs. And uh, check these things out. Maybe it'll be like the clutch, like a box in a box in a box. Yeah, it'll probably be like three boxes. Yeah, probably. But these things should be relatively easy to install. Bolt in, bolt off, five minutes. That's what they all say. Yeah, that's speed that camera up. It's only gonna take five minutes, Matt. And then Matt's here, he's our official welder. So we're gonna mock up the cage and see just how bad it is or if it's easy and Try to get that and done. You got a box inside the box. Oh, yes. And you got a shirt. And you yes. got a shirt. Oh. oh, yeah, they told me they were sending me a shirt. Cool. I didn't get a shirt. Uh, yeah, so we're trying to get the Miata ready for Cletus and Cars. That's the end of this month, April 29th, because the Supra will be at induction and getting painted. So we're not going to be able to take that. Let's check these out. You want to cool. pull them out? Pull one out? All right, SAC, SAC is the official model. Uh, Kenneth? Uh, Kenneth. Kenneth. All right, your yeah, official model. You wanna? So okay. So right now, this is the rear. These things are rusty and old. And when we drive it, and you hit a lot of bumps, the rear end of the car, you know, kind of goes up and slides left and right. So it's pretty dangerous. We haven't driven it a whole lot. So we're hoping the coils fix that problem. And with no body panels, we're gonna just slam it. We're gonna send this thing on the ground. And we're gonna oh, max them out. Look at that. Look how much space we got. We're gonna max out the coils and then we're gonna go for a ride. And All right, so it appears we've encountered our first problem. Uh, what year is this car? I don't even know. It's old. Was it a 98? 95? 97? I don't know. It's a 90 something and it's old. And uh, all the nuts are rusty. This is awesome. Oh, I see all the, I see all the rust. Let's see if they take it. Okay. Oh yeah, it's out. You just gotta. Yeah. You gotta get the top. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look as bad. It's still rusty though. You like our makeshift intake? That uh, K and then knockoff. It sucks in all the air. All right, let's try the top. Oh. The reducer and top of reducer and top of reducer. Nice. There we go. All right. This is the fun part. All right. And let me get you this shiny fresh. I like this one. Yes. All the freshness. Around my face. All the adjusters on top. Oh, oh yeah, all the adjustments. Yeah, get on the top and then on the top. Let me see those nuts. Put those on. One down, three, one down, three to go. <laughs> All right, front's done, rear is next. Rear seems to be uh, a lot easier. Oh yeah. They're pretty rusty. Ooh, that's one. All right, time to pull the rear out. Like Boom. butter, like butter. All right, let me grab you a rear. Some rusty butter. Out with the old and in with the new. Ta da! Now we put this on and the. Uh, yeah. We're so still like. Yeah, we're pretty far away. So this thing, because this thing's slammed right now. Well, it so looks this slammed. thing's probably going to have to go all the way up here. Okay. You think? I mean, how else are we going to. I don't know. Can we take the sway bar off? Come again? Alright. Grab this one. Mountain man over here. Oh yeah, that's, what, that's not happening. Oh! Let's look at this guy! And look at this! Lower, a little bit. <laughs> Hold on, let me grab the jack, Matt. In. Are In there, oh, like swimwear. What? Yo, that thing's on the ground. You can tell already, it's super, <laughs> it's super <laughs> slammed in the back. Not gonna lie, that was pretty simple. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, two down, two to go. So the bolts are so rusty that we have to Dremel off the rust because that's... Well, come here, come look at it. Come look at it. We're Dremeling off the bolt. Oh, yeah. 
Wow. So we're drumming off the whole bolt. So five minute coilover install. Uh, it's a couple hours now probably. Mission accomplished. Well, halfway accomplished because in the front here, it appears we have a broken ball joint. All right, guys, so we are back. This is coilover install day two. Um, so we finally got our new ball joint. So that came in. We got the ball joint press here. I think Matt has the, the new ball joint. So we're gonna try to press that in and hopefully there's no more issues. And uh, I know all the lug nuts are rusted, so I bought some new lug nuts too. They're like 15 bucks on Amazon, so I figured I might as well. All the way in, or if not, well, okay. Done. Yep, we're done. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, new ball joint is in. Looks like we'll uh, reassemble, put this baby on the ground, and uh, see how low she is. So, this is the first time? This is it. This is the first time we've seen her in all fours, yeah. I know we saw the back, and the back is sick. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, we're definitely going lower in the front. But the back is freaking perfect. Like, I don't think I would go lower in the back at all. All right, so Justin says he's a professional at adjusting coilovers because Listen, it's done I'll so adjust, much. Correct, I've adjusted a lot of coilovers. I had an Evo, had a lift, and it was brutal. So, we loosen up the bottom first. As much as you spin this is how low it's gonna go. So how low do you think we, uh, Moss. right there? More. Yeah, we just keep doing this <laughs> until the bottom ring uh, meets the bottom. And then you get your small spinner, tighten her up, throw the wheel on there, and uh, test fit. Test fit. All right, so the Miata's on the ground, all the coils have been adjusted. Looks like we got some epic camber right here. What do you think, that's two degrees? No, that's four more than that? Two, four yeah. degrees? Let's take a guess and we'll get on the alignment rack. At least four degrees. That's like four or six. Anyways, this thing looks freaking sick. We max out the front. The back looks perfect. I think I like the back more than anything just because like it like comes up higher than the actual coil itself. I don't know. I just love it. I love the back. Next, we're going to unbox the cage. I've waited a very long time. I've had this cage for like a week now. The box is still sealed. We're going to pull it out, mock it up, and uh, hopefully get this thing welded up soon so we can head down to Cletus and Cars at the end of the month. We're gonna unbox this thing and see what it looks like. Ta da! Oh, great. Look, it's a bunch of packing. All the packing. So nice. So, let's pull it out, see what we got there. Another perfectly packed box. What's it say on it? Uh, okay, small parts. The box literally says small parts. Okay. Got some tubes. First impressions, how's it feel? Feels like metal pipe. Piece of pipe. Feels you're like gonna, a piece of pipe. Add some weight back into the Miata. Got it. Yeah, 100 pounds. Pre-notched. Really? Yeah, it weighs 100 pounds. Pre-notched, yep. Yeah. Pre-notched. We've yeah. got to see if those door bars are going to fit around those seats. That's our big, uh, our big mystery right now. All right, so we're trying to fab up and uh, mock up the door bar right now. That was the biggest thing with the door bar not fitting with the seats, but it actually looks like, yeah, you can actually see the, the space between the door and the bar. There's going to be plenty of room, so. And we were really worried about that, so. And realistically, something like this. Yeah, something like that, so yeah. We're not worried at all. It's going to fit perfectly, so. Yeah, we're just gonna try to spend a weekend and weld it all up and, you know. See how it goes. See how it goes and uh, like I said, the goal is to take it out to Cletus and Carr, so that's gonna be it for tonight. All right guys, so we're on day three and uh, it's time to go test out the coils. So we kind of have them set where we want them as far as the height goes. We didn't change the uh, hard and soft settings yet. Um, we're gonna mess with that as we go and drive it. Uh, we changed the diff fluid, because if you remember when me and Zach did the burnout, it was like a one wheel peel. All right, so we're here at Cutter Power. They were nice enough. They got this fresh black top, and they said we could go ahead and just uh, kind of do whatever we wanted. So we're just gonna we're gonna do a should we just do a full lock and full lock and dump it. So Kevin was nice enough to let us use his black top. So he's gonna go and try to spin it around here.
right, guys. So good news, the coils work. Again, I want to give a big shout out to Cutter Power for letting us come out here and tear up their fresh blacktop. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.